I just wonder if we should also just break this down for people who may have not have thought about this before and just really describe kind of what what peat is and what peatland is and the makeup of it and um, just so people are all talking from the same kind of level of understanding. I think Olivia I think that's a very good suggestion because peatlands well we, we call them the Cinderella habitat because they're hidden away they're hidden below ground um, the, the peat that accumulates does so because the ground is waterlogged. Uh, peat will only accumulate if the ground is waterlogged. Uh, so if you want to uh, keep your peatland store, you've got to keep, keep the ground wet. So where you have wet conditions because of the climate or because the water is collecting within a particular feature of the landscape, um, plant material when it dies collapses into the waterlogged conditions and because you need lots of oxygen to break down organic matter and oxygen moves through water 10,000 times slower than it does through air the oxygen in the water is used up very quickly and that means that the normal decomposer microbes just can't work so you're left with incredibly inefficient inorganic uh, sorry incredibly inefficient uh, anaerobic microbes uh, and they just can't keep pace with the amount of dead plant material that keeps landing on them and so what we have over well in our case since the last ice age 10,000 years of accumulated plant material which has accumulated because it's waterlogged that is peat and i guess i guess one thing that people would be interested in that is that you know that's a way of keeping the carbon in the ground isn't it and i think you know a lot of people are very concerned about carbon and and that was definitely something that a lot of people got in touch with me about and um, what yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, just, just to emphasize, uh, peatlands are by far our biggest carbon store. Uh, they, ex they contain more carbon than all the vegetation across the UK, uh, more carbon than all the forests put together. Uh, it's stored for literally thousands of years. Um, some of our peatlands have been forming for 10,000 years. Our ancient forests to be classified as an ancient forest must have existed since 1600. Well, they're youngsters compared to our peatlands. Um, so yes, and, and globally, uh, there's more carbon stored in the world's peatlands than there is in all the world's vegetation put together, including tropical rainforests. And just 30 centimeters of peat across a hectare so that's 100 meters by 100 meters can contain as much carbon as a hectare of tropical rainforest the point being this the the carbon is so dense in peat uh, because there are no gaps whereas in a forest you can walk through a forest because there are gaps you can't walk through a peatland you can only walk on a peatland that's why they're so carbon rich 